The principle of inclusion is another important principle of stratigraphy. In fact, to my opinion, it looks like it is an opposite of the principle of cross-cutting relationship, which I have discussed in previous tutorial. The principle of inclusion states that inclusions that are found in a rug are always older than the rug they are found in. Inclusions generally refer to fragments of rocks found in another rock. Inclusions in sedimentary rocks are referred to mostly as clasts, while inclusions in igneous or metamorphic rocks are referred to as xenoliths. Our inclusions formed in sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks are formed from the wedging of pre-existing rocks, transportation, deposition, and lithification of sediments in a sedimentary basin. Clasts are formed when large rocks are not completely broken down to smaller size because of their resistance to wear drain and then they find themselves deposited alongside other weathered sediment in the sedimentary basin. It is important to note that clasts in sedimentary rocks are not necessarily sedimentary rocks themselves. Clasts are mostly igneous or metamorphic origin. If you have heard of classic sedimentary rocks, then you can easily relate to that yes, they are sedimentary rocks with a lot of clasts. Example of classic sedimentary rock is conglomerate. Our inclusions form in igneous or metamorphic rocks. Igneous rocks are formed from the solidification of molten magma, which found its way to the head's crust or even sometimes to the surface of the head. Because there are no voids in the head. The molten magma forces its way through weak zones and cracks within the head. The intruded rocks, therefore, give space to the intruding magma, and some of the intruded rock may be engulfed inside the intruding rock as xenolith. Incomplete digestion is a common term used to explain the formation of xenolith. It means intruding magma did not completely dissolve the rocks in its path. Long after the formation of this process, metamorphism may set in and hence xenolith in metamorphic rocks. If you want to learn more about the formation of rocks, subscribe to this channel and check our videos. Now let's take a quiz about xenolith. The first question, what is the difference between Xenolith and Xenoquist. Yes, I watched one video. It says that big words comes from the joining of small world. If you have watched that video, you easily remember that. Big words comes from the joining of small words. Zeno means stranger or foreign bodies. You must have heard of xenophobia, the fear of stranger. And lit means rock. Christ means crystals, which are minerals in geology. So Zeno lit means foreign rock. While Xenochrist should mean foreign minerals or foreign crystals. So I think that goes with our option C. Xenoliths are fragments of rock engulfed in another rock, while Xenochrist are fragments of minerals engulfed in another rock. I hope you get that easily. Second question A plastic rock is. If you choose A, a plastic rock is a rock formed from rubber and plastic debris. No way. C, a rock formed from melting of sand and sediment. Nah, nah, nah. And D, is another name for sedimentary rocks. That's partially true, but that is too general. Sedimentary rocks can be plastic, yes. They can be evaporite and they can be carbonate. So, Saying plastic rock is another name for sedimentary rocks is too general, so our answer should be B, 
a rock formed from litification of transported sediments. I found a third question on the internet. Which statement includes two central ideas about xenolith? What's your answer? Well, if you choose A, hey, xenoliths exist only in Hygnos rock. They can exist in metamorphic rock, so don't let us be further. B. Xenolith and, and Xenocrit looks like sand. No way. Don't let us read further. C. Xenoliths are usually formed by magma. Yes. And are encased in other rocks. Kind of. But let's look at option D. The Xenolith and Xenocrit can be found in all types of rock. Yes. And can explain how sedimentary rocks are formed. No, 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 no. So the answer is C. Share your score in the comment. Let me know if you get a three. And if you have any question or if you feel any of my answer is wrong, just put in the comment section. I'm not perfect.